Hey guys, here's how to install mods for Spider-Man Remastered on the PC. Now, there isn't a conventional way of installing mods for this game. You don't just drag and drop your files into the game's folder like usual. So this is why I wanted to put together a quick, simple guide to show you how it's done. Okay, and the very first step of all is to back up your files. I've personally not had any problems modding Spider-Man, but it's just good to have a backup of the game in case anything goes wrong. So go into your game directory and go to Asset Archive. Here's where all the assets in the game are kept. So, you know, like all the suits, all the objects, all the characters, etc. This is what's in the asset archive. Copy and paste this whole folder into a location of your choice. I've moved mine into a backup folder on a different hard drive. The asset archive is about 65 gigs in total, so it's pretty big. So do make sure wherever you're putting it has enough space. Right, now you've backed up your files, it's time to download the Spider-Man PC modding tool. You can download this from the Nexus Mods website. Just search Spider-Man PC modding tool. I'll also put a link to this in the description. When you do download this, you might get a notification saying it's a suspicious file, but don't worry about that, it's completely safe. Once you've downloaded the Spider-Man PC modding tool, extract it. Now you'll see this. So go ahead and click on the SMPC tool. Again, you might get a pop-up saying it's suspicious, but ignore that. Now what you want to do is select tools at the top, then convert asset archive. This can take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. It took about 30 minutes for me. And what it basically does is it makes the asset in Spider-Man, the game compatible for the modding tool. So go to file in the top left of the program and choose select asset archive folder. This basically loads all of the assets from the game into the modding tool. Navigate to the asset archive folder of your game and select save. And now all your assets are in in the modding tool, ready to be modded. Once this is done, you're ready to install any mod of your choice. So I'll show you an example with the Kingpin mod by the creator Lucifer6667676. So what I did is I went to Nexus Mods, downloaded the mod, then extracted it. I use the tool 7-zip, which is free and can extract raw files, which a lot of these are. Now go to your modding tool and go to install mod at the top, then select the Kingpin mod. Now just install it and you're done. If the mod contains a save file, not all of them do, but some of them do, then move this save file into your save file folder. You'll find your Spider-Man save file folder in your documents folder, which is here. With most Spider-Man mods, you will have to play on a save that the modder has made. Like I wasn't able to play as Kingpin on my own personal save. So that's why you have to move this save into your save folder. And another thing guys, if you did want to uninstall any of these mods, most mods will have an uninstall file. So just follow the same process you use to install a mod, but instead of picking a mod, pick the uninstall file. This will uninstall the mod. Or alternatively, you could replace the mod with a different mod. So for instance, if I don't want to play as Kingpin anymore, I could download and install a different Spider-Man suit. And this will replace Kingpin with the mod I've just downloaded. Or as a final resort, copy and paste your backup asset archive folder back into the game's directory. So you remember earlier you made a copy of your asset archive folder, just copy and paste that back in and you'll replace your modded folder with the original one. And if all else fails, you can verify the integrity of the game files through Steam and that will just basically download all the files again right from the source which is Steam. So just to sum up, first back up your files, then step two, download the Spider-Man modding tool from Nexus Mods. Step three is to go to tools and convert asset archive. Step four, go to file and select asset archive folder. Step five, select install mod, then find the mod and click on it. And step six, if you need to, move the save file to your save file folder. And that's it, you are now Kingpin, or Stanley, or a gun, or any other wonderful mod the community has made. Thanks so much for watching the video, and if this tutorial helped you out, then I would be massively grateful if you subscribed to the channel. Subscribing. Thank you.